Most protests have marching crowds with signs and slogans, but these take their messages to a whole new level. These shocking protests from around the world surely got a lot of attention. Although things like sex trafficking, anti-abortion laws and unfair trade rules are protested frequently, nothing beats this shocking protest orchestrated by the group Femen in 2013. President Viktor Yunukovych of the Ukraine was using military force in Kiev against trade protests and this group of French women wanted to stand up by sitting down. With pictures of the Ukrainian president displayed on the ground, the protesters removed their shirts, squatted down and urinated all over his picture. Farmers in Europe work hard and expect to be able to pay their bills. But when dairy prices continued to plummet, they decided that enough is enough. More than 2,500 farmers swamped the streets of Brussels with not only supporters, but also thousands of litres of fresh milk. This shocking protest didn't end there. Live cows joined the throng, with farmers demonstrating their milking techniques and spraying police before they stampeded through the crowds. Chicken farmers got into the act with flying chicken parts, and others set hay on fire. Many people protest the ever-increasing invasions of privacy, but no protest was quite as eye-opening as the one at the United States-Canada border. A spy balloon with onboard surveillance equipment was tethered near the international border in hopes of catching people sneaking into the USA from the north. What it really recorded on the day of the protest was something much more shocking. 200 bold Canadians lined up and dropped their pants in protest against the balloon's presence. The mile of mooners surely gave the cameras something surprising to record. Protecting oceans and the creatures in them fuel many demonstrations around the world. In Paris, one young woman protested by making people see a shark's plight in the face of commercial fishing. She donned a silver tail fin, painted her body silver with blue scales, and hung suspended in a Parisian shop window by two large and gruesome-looking hooks that pierced the skin on her back. According to the International Fund for Animal Welfare, more than 100 million sharks get hooked or netted annually. Some species have lost 80% of their populations. Alice Newstead decided a shocking protest was needed for these shocking numbers. Nothing beats a national flag as a symbol of a country. But when the people of Peru found out that Alberto Fujimori would return as president in 2000, many people felt that the flag was tainted. A truly unique protest spread throughout Lima, the capital of Peru, which lasted for months. With buckets and suds, both women and men settled on the streets to hand wash the country's flag over and over. Eventually, authorities uncovered the dirt on Fujimora, legislative bribes and ran him out of the country, leaving the people of Peru to proudly fly their very clean flags once more. A young woman in Virginia was born as Jennifer Thornburg, but she went to court to change her name in protest over her school science class's dissection of animals for educational purposes. Instead of choosing an animal-centric name like cat, bunny or shepherd, she got straight to the point. Her new name? CutOutDissection.com The intern at PETA, the infamous animal rights group, opted to promote her anti-dissection website by using Jennifer's new legal name, CutOutDissection.com, as its URL. Although extreme, the protest worked. Her school made animal dissection optional. Following an outrageous statement from Constable Michael Sanguinetti in Toronto about how women should not dress like sluts if they want to avoid rape or sexual assault, the women of the world staged a truly attention-grabbing protest. From Canada to many other cities, women took to the streets in a shocking display of the sexiest outfits imaginable. They sure turned a few heads to get their message across that the blame-the-victim mentality was wrong and women had every right to wear any outfit and control her own sex life without fearing assault. 
When Valerie Dodds, a former Catholic school student, told her teachers and peers about her career choice, she didn't like the negative comments she received. So, Dodds decided to take revenge in a truly shocking manner. Stripping down to the legal minimum of pasties and a thong, she boosted her new career as a porn star by sneaking onto the high school football field and taking raunchy photos. After posting them on her adult website, Dodds was arrested and sentenced to jail time for trespassing and nudity in public. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.